All right, everybody. So welcome. My name is Fausto from Cybertrain University. Hopefully everybody, first of all, happy new year, everybody. And uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas for all of you. Welcome back for a new excitement year, 2024. And I have so much good content I'm going to talk about. I'm happy you guys are here. Maybe you want to start turning a new leaf, want to start getting to trading. Well, guess what? We got a lot to cover. Okay. And we're going to talk about mastering the buying and selling of order flow. Now, if you're watching on social media, you've probably seen some of my videos. Hopefully you've subscribed to my channel. Make sure you give me the thumbs up, ring that bell. And, uh, you know, and, and once again, and, uh, and, uh, which we'll call it the other thing. You ring that bell. And like I said, subscribe to the channels, two big things. All right. And just make sure you follow us on all the other channels, but I'm always, we're all, we're live every morning. We're live in the afternoon. And, uh, but here we're going to actually talk about tra uh, the education part of it. So, I know we have people from all over the world. By the way, where's everybody logged in from? Just out of, I saw somebody here from Scottsdale, uh, Arizona. Where's everybody else from? Eric, where are you guys from? Dallas, uh, Alicia. Okay, we'll just got off the phone with you, right, Alicia? Um, Alan, Ohio, Bill. Okay, Boston. James from New Jersey. Okay, we got a poll from New York. William, good to see you, William. Nice talking to you, seeing the trade room. Looking forward to see what those shirts look like. William's making us some new shirts and designs. Looking forward to that. We got a lot of students in here, by the way. So that's what's also great. They, listen, we have a lot of students because they want, they're they here to kind of look to help recruit you, hopefully be part of my team. So let, let's get right into it. Um, I want to talk about a couple of things that made some big moves today. So there's a couple of, we're going to talk about some trading. We're going to talk about some stocks. Um, we're going to talk about, you know, swing trading, some options trading, but we had a couple of really, really big moves I want to kind of show you. And one of them right here, I want to bring up this stock QS. Did anyone see the stock QS? Did anybody see, anyone see the stock right here? No one saw the stock. Well, some of you did, you were in the trading room, but look at this stock right here. It started this morning or at 9.30, ran from $7.20, all right? As of right now, the stock is at $8.80. Now let's do simple math. Let's say you bought it at seven and you sold it at eight, okay? And you were done at 11 o'clock, right? At eight, at $8. If you bought a thousand shares, that's a thousand dollars. Do that every year. That's a quarter million dollar salary. Now, why is the stock going up? Why is it taking off as we speak right now? Well, that's why you're here. I'm going to tell you exactly where, why it's going up, who's running it up, and how they do it on any stock, okay? How they do it on Amazon and how they do it on Apple and how they do it on, you know, why what, Why is this one going up and that going up? That's why you're here because it's not about just finding them and everything else. It's also going out there and controlling these losses. And that's what we're going to talk about. So a lot of great stuff we're going to talk about. So let's move on. So before we get started, just a quick little disclaimer. I just want to let you know that Results vary from student to student. I'm not making any guarantees or promises or warranties that this works. This is strictly going to be educational. Cyber Trade University doesn't want to be responsible for your trading. So please, once again, be wise before you make your trades. Now, these are the things that we're going to cover. We're going to talk about order flow. We're going to talk about how the stocks break out. We're going to talk about NASDAQ, um, you know, how to use NASDAQ Book Viewer, how to use Level 3. You know, how market makers trade in today's movements, which are traders on the floor of the exchange. How do I know that? Because I was one of them. Um, how to read order flow and predict the direction of the stock. And most importantly, price action, you know, and seeing how that goes. Now, I don't know if this might sound like, you know, a different language to you, but you probably heard about it. Trust me, I'm going to make it as simple as possible. And I might even do a little bit of extra mod uh, uh you know a couple of examples and you know metaphors on how to make, so we all can relate to it now i've been doing this for over 30 years i want to tell you a little about myself um i basically have competed against every trader in the world i've done it for a long time uh but the way i started is is pr pretty much this magazine that you see right here ford's magazine wrote an article about a bunch of kids tormenting Wall Street. I was one of the original day traders that started. So I know some of you here have take, maybe taken some classes before by other people and so on. But I basically started um, I started doing this uh, back in the early 90s. And I'm telling you, nothing really has changed other than ticket charges got cheap. You don't got to be licensed. You don't got to come to New York and do it. But, um, but 
I love what I do and I love changing people's lives. So, but this is really how I'm like more the godfather that started this whole industry. Now I've competed and I traveled around the world. I've met so many great people on the way. Some of you might be familiar with it. I rang the, the close, I rang the bell in New York Stock Exchange, which is almost impossible. One thing I love about this photo is that Steve Forbes right there. I was actually Steve Forbes was the, that was the first time he ever rang the bell himself after all these years. And uh, I've actually had fortunate to ring it with him. I mean, obviously, Tom Sostoff and the list goes on and on and on. I always surround myself with great traders. And um, what I'm going to do also today is I'm going to also give you everyone here access to my trading book. Now, you can go to Amazon. You could pay 40. You could, you could pay, you know, whatever it is, uh, forty seven dollars. But, but if you stick around at the end, I'm going to give it to you for free. It was published by Wiley. You know, one of the biggest, oldest uh, publishing companies in the world. They wanted to actually go out there. They need a trading book. And uh, I'm going to give it to you for free. Now, the reason why I'm doing that, being generous, because I don't want to see you guys lose money. Okay, that's what it is. I want you to learn how to play the game. I'm also going to be on NASDAQ next week. I'm one of the featured, uh, I featured talking about how to trade on the exchanges. And, you know, and that will give you access to that. But what I'm really looking for is I'm looking to teach people to be part of our team. Okay, now I know a lot of you here, you know, I don't want you to think this is another sales pitch or anything else. I'm really looking for traders I could train. Now, some of you just don't take this the bad way. You're probably not qualified and that's okay. But some of you are, but you could see everyone in this picture might just look just like you. The 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 um the cowboy, the border control person, the grandma, the grandpa, the engineer, the teacher, the fireman. These people are just like you. Okay. The main goal is to kind of just learn how to make a day's pay. And that's what we're looking to do. Now, I've been doing this for over 30 years. I've been married for 25 years. That's my lovely family. I always like to share it with you. I think one of the great things about share my family with you is that I have two families, my traders and you. I spend all my time with you. And I feel like, listen, if I can make you guys successful, that's why, you know, I have a, you know, have a successful marriage for 25 years and, you know, able to spend more time with my family. And I know a lot of you here have been doing this and want to make it successful and will like to travel around the world and not work so hard those 10, 20 hours a week. And that's what we're looking to do. Now, with that said, I want to get, I'm going to get right into it. I want to do a couple of poll questions here. And for some reason, I don't know why it's not working now, but um, where's my poll questions? All right. So my question to everyone is what kind of trader are you? So could everyone just tell me in the chat room, um, what kind of trader are you? Are you a stock trader, a you know, options traders, future traders. Oh, thank you very much. I guess uh, Greg uh, probably has access to it. He's sharing with me. Thank you very much, Greg. So we're going to do that poll. And then we got a couple of polls we're going to do. So, and it's nice because you guys can get to know what it's like to be like everyone else in here. You know, what makes you different? By the way, nobody could read anyone's chat, whatever, you know, so you don't have to be embarrassed or nervous or scared. But polls are pretty cool. You know, it's always nice to know. Now, um, now, obviously, we have students in here. They're not answering it because, obviously, they're not, that would make the percentages look a little off. But uh, I'm going to stop the poll. I'm going to share it. All right. And you can see that there is a lot of stock traders and options traders. Now, I want to clarify something really quick before we get started. All right. Now, as an op, as um, if you want to be a good, first of all, if you want to be a good options trader, you, you got to be a good stock trader first because, it's the movement of the stock that makes an option move, okay? You want to be a good swing trader? How do you know what to swing if you don't even know what's happening over the course of the day? Now, I am a day trader. What that means is I like to trade stocks of the day, make my days pay, and that's it. I do swing trade. I do options, but that's second protocol, okay? I own a house. Do I rent? Yeah, but that, I don't rent all the time. I go on hotels, you know what I mean? But it's the same thing. You have to learn what happens over the course of the day. So that's a big failure rate right there. And you're going to see that you're making things more complicated other than just seeing what's on the past but focus on the future. Next question, I don't know if, um, Greg, if you could do this for me, but um, what type of education do you have? So I want to see if I can put one more, one more poll up there. I'm going to X out of this. I don't know if you could do that for me. But um, what kind of education do you have? Are you Have you taken paid courses? Are you self-taught? You know, um, do you have a coach or mentor? And please be very honest. And if you're a student, please don't answer this question because we don't want to skew the the uh, the poll. All right. Now, um, 
Dave, you took some pay paid cholesterol. Okay, Dave, just go into the poll and just put it in there. Okay. All right. Shouldn't take that long. You know, just click on it, everyone. It's a quick question. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be scared. All right. Now I'm going to end this poll and um, I'm going to share the results. Now, this is a pretty cool poll. So there's 70, you know, basically 71%. It's like 50-50. I'm looking at it. You know, that some took pay courses and not. So listen, um, regardless, I'm, I'm glad that we have people take paid courses, okay? Because sometimes it takes you to, you got to take a few classes before you can figure out who really is your style, okay? You might like that person, but it might not be your style. And that's okay. That's good. There's some of you that gets me nervous, though. You still are self-taught. Problem is, I don't think anybody here will give their money to somebody who never learned finance, right? You wouldn't let someone do brain surgery and then never worked, you know, then went to med school. So you're actually going out there and you're pretending to do something and you really don't. And what you're about to learn, and what I'm about to show everyone you show everyone here, is that you're going to realize you've been trading blind. And that's okay. And hopefully after today, you'll make that that make that decision that you're going to quit trading and go back to your day job, you know, even if it's whatever it may be, or you're gonna do this right because you can only do it the right way. Otherwise. You're wasting your time. And you know what really sucks? You're going to blow up your account because trading is almost a 90% failure rate. Why would you want to get into this business if it's a 90% failure rate? But you know why it's such a high failure rate? Because 99% of the people out there are self-taught. Now, what are you trading? What's your trading resolution for 2024? Okay, so let me talk about what happened in our first week of trading. This is what we just did the first week, okay? I don't know if you saw what happened with Mara, okay? Um mRNA had a good run up, right? Went from 80, 98 to 114. Then there was Eli Lilly, big runs up, right? But the issue with these stocks is they're expensive. But there are inexpensive stocks. Mara had a good run. You know, there are a lot of good stocks that are making big runs, even with the market, you know, had a little bit of correction, but went up. But did you see LBPH? Did any of you see that? Okay. Talking about a stock that had a big run up. This stock went up 400%, started at $13. Before the market was even open, it was at 21. And by the end of the day, it ran to 26. Okay, that's in one day. Now, why did it go up? How did we find it? Why is it down? We're going to talk about that. But the big thing is, it's not about the winners. We need to learn how to lose money first before we could learn how to make money. And that's what my ultimate goal is. I'm not here to put the feathers in my hat and brag about these winners and so on. You not need to know why it went up, but you need to know that God forbid you chase the stock, you don't get yourself in trouble. Now, obviously, you know, the NASDAQ and the New York are all breaking all-time highs and everything else. But, um, but the simple question that you have to ask yourself is this. Why do stocks drop in the first place? What makes them go down? The answer is there are less buyers and more sellers. That's really what it comes down to it. And that's all you need to understand that what, a what drives a stock like, you know, C4 goes from $5 to $8 in about 30 minutes. And then why it went from $8 back down to five. It's all about following the money. Now, what we're going to talk about right now is that we're going to focus on two key things level three and level four now i don't know if i have the poll up there uh, greg if you could post it but um does anyone here have level three quotes i don't know if i could post that up there really quick if you have it um oh we do okay good polls up there can anyone tell me does um anybody here have level three quotes yes no and please once again if you're a student don't answer it okay i want to see how everyone answer, uh, answers that it's also called NASDAQ Book Viewer. Now, as you're answering that, what you're about to learn, and I'm telling you right now, please don't get upset because you're probably going to get ticked off at the person who trained you. But what I'm about to teach you is the future, okay? You're going to see where all the algorithms are, the high-frequency pools, where BlackRock, Goldman Sachs, all these orders, Instanet, all these orders out there, institutions, all those people. And you're going to see that, like, my God, this is more simple what it is and what I'm going to do. This is, the, this is the ultimate goal. Everyone is going to be so super excited that I am going to invite every one of you 
for one whole week to see if this really is true in the market for one whole week. You don't got to be there all week. You'd be there for a day. You could be there for an hour, but I'm going to prove it to all of you. So now, now that we answer that question, let me end the poll. Let me share it. And you could see that how many of you here do not have it. So you're talking about 70% of you. And obviously, if you're not sure, I'll take that as a no. So now you could see why people are failing in trading. Now, you have to understand something. I'm actually, um, you know, I, I actually talk about this all the time on NASDAQ. I don't know if you guys watch me uh, on NASDAQ on their show. I've been there for several years. I'm there every month. I'm going to be there next week. The exchanges want you to understand how to trade the market. Okay. A lot of you don't even know how to trade the market. You think you do. And it's not a chart. It's not an indicator. I'm talking about, do you know what makes the, how does that market work? Do you know that, that the market is a negotiated system? Do you know that you could actually put bids and offers out there and compete with every marker out there? Do you know you could be on the street, have a floor in the exchange? You know, these are all the things I'm going to teach you on in the next few seconds. So let's talk about how do we use this data? Now, let me go back. Let me let me let me do this first because um, I want to share some things with you. All right, let me get my crayons, and I want to show you what we're looking at really quick. All right, so is it red? Okay, good. So right here on the left hand side, these are buyers. On the right hand side, these are sellers. Okay, so you're seeing every buyer that wants to trade Uber and every seller that wants to, wants to that wants to sell Uber, and then you have three columns. The price they want to buy for, the amount of shares that look going to be bought at that price, and how many orders around the world are make make up those shares. Now, this is called a negotiated market. It's one big chat room. Whoever wants to buy for the most amount of money is up, up on top. Whoever wants to buy for less money is down at the bottom. Whoever wants to sell it for more money is up on top. Whoever wants to, you know, sell uh, sell their shares for more money. The least amount of money is up on top. One wants to sell for more money is down at the bottom. Now, when you go out there and you do a trade, and we're going to do this live in the market when I invite all of you in there, um, you could see your order out there. You could actually, you have a seat on this exchange. You could actually place bids, place offers, see everything you want, okay? Think about that. How much smarter and better trading decisions could you have made if you could see every order out there? Or even see your order, why it's getting executed, why it's not getting executed. Some people don't know that, and that's what we're going to cover. So let me uh, let me clear all these drawings, and let's let's change the slide here. What do you say? And see how this kind of works in together. Okay. Now let's look at a chart. We're looking at a stock ALT. You see how it started at twelve dollars, came down, 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 and for some reason, it hits a price of ten fifty, and it goes up to eleven twenty. Now, why didn't it stop going lower at eleven sixty? Why did it stop going lower at 1120? Why did it decide to go up at a 1050? Well, the reason for that is that when you look, what makes a stock go up is buyers. And if you look at the buy section, you'll notice that there are 28 orders and there's 58,000 shares out there at $10 at that price. No wonder why the stock went up. It didn't go up because of the 1,000 share buyer. Didn't go up there because of the 4,000 share. It went up there because of the 58,000. And then you can see a little bit better on the left. Now, everyone is always looking for support levels and resistance levels. But what you have to understand, there is no such thing of support unless those buyers are out there. So you really have it backwards. As much as you found support, because there was support at 1050, I mean, 1180, there was support at 1120. There was support at 1050, but why was 1050 more of a support than 1120? Because maybe there were more buyers at 11 at, at 1050 than 1120. That's the only reason why. Let's look at sellers. What makes resistance? Sellers. So let's look at this stock right here. It goes from like 220, hits a price of 350, stops at 350. Why? And not only is it stop there at 11, 12, 1, 2, never want to go past. 350. Well, it must have been a lot of sellers out there. So when you look at the sell column and you see all these sellers out there, you'll notice there's a 48,000 share seller out there. That's a big ass seller. 
compared to 200 share sellers and 1,000 share sellers. Are you are you are you selling 48,000? I don't think so. Okay? Probably wouldn't be here if you did. So this is basically where it comes about. It's all about seeing where the support levels are and resistance levels, but to have support and resistance, you have to have those buyers and sellers. Now Ravi, um I'm, I know a lot of you guys are asking questions and we do have staff here answering for you as we go along, but I'm going to try to get to more of them when we get to the end because you know, we only have another 20 minutes. And once again, I'll go over, um, you know, I want to get through this as quickly as possible because I know people have to place all the places to go. Plus, I want to get you guys registered. OK, so let's go over a couple of trades that we did this week. All right. So we had this stock Roku. It's coming down. Now, I'm going to have a little fun with you. OK, I want to test your knowledge. All right. If you own a stock like Roku and it's going down, where do you find support levels? What do you do to find a support level, everyone? So just give me a chat back. Let me know. See where you guys are at. And while you're doing that, I'm going to set my coffee. Okay, you look at the chart. Mike, you look in the past. Okay, everyone else. Bill, what do you do? I didn't hear from you. Bill Bill K. Charlie, what about you? What do you do? What do you... Wait, wait, if you don't know the answer, just give me a question mark. James, look at a chart. Okay. All right. Well, the thing is this. Do you see any support level on this chart? No. So what you probably do is you have to go back in history, maybe throw a slap and indicator in there, whatever it may be. Let me tell you what I do. I'm going to go here at the NASDAQ book viewer. And I'm going to look where the buyers are. And I see there's a buyer here for 21,000 shares um, at, what was that 90, what was that 9360 right there? Okay. Now, is that a lot of shares? Well, there's 24 shares, 200, 100, 300. There's 1,000 down here at 9317. There's no really 10-digit numbers. Everything is like two or three digits. So you might think that the stock trades a lot of shares, and you might think that people buy a lot of shares of it, but they don't. They don't, okay? In this specific stock, for example. But there is... At 93, 93.30. And guess what? Look what happened when the stock came down. It hit 93.20. Went back up to 94.50. Came back to 93.30. Uh, went all the way back up to 94.50. Okay? Just by being patient and watching a stock come down. And you know you're not supposed to catch a falling knife. That is where you're looking for. That's where you're looking for support. Um, well, Skip, thank you very much for sharing that. I, pre I appreciate that. That's a great, great comment. I thank you very much. Um, and by the way, we see any comments, we'll share it in the room with everybody. All right. Now let's go talk about Bank of America. Let's talk about a brand name stock because some of these stocks you probably never heard of, or you never traded. Let's trade something brand new, something we know. Bank of America is, Bank of America is going down. Now, my question to all of you is this. What is going to stop Bank of America from continuing going lower? What is going to stop this from going down? Um, Ray, if you find them all the time, his question is, how often do we find these iceberg orders? All the time. We need a buyer. We need buyers right now. Now, this is where you're going to find that you've been trading blind your whole life. Now, do you see buyers on a chart? Do you see buyers? Yes or no? Margaret says no. Matt says no. Everyone's saying no. I can't keep up with all the chats in there because you're all saying no. So what the hell are you looking at? What is this good for? You just said to yourself, you need buyers, right? Well, what do you what what is a chart? What is a chart gonna do? Tell you what happened in the past? Because the past is not indicative of the future. So let's go over here and look what's going on in Bank of America. Let's go right to the exchange. Let's go right to the floor. Right there, I see, work my way down, there is a 168,000 168, share buyer at $33.24. Now, the stock right, you know, we're not too far from it, but the stock has been, you know, hasn't been doing too well from 33.70, right? So we're talking about, we're about maybe 50, 50 cents away from the next biggest buyer, right? What do you think is going to happen when we get down to 33.25? 
What do you think is going to happen, everyone? Is it going to go up? Is it going to go down? What do you think it's going to do? What do you think it's going to do? Okay. Does that answer your question? Does that answer your question? Because if you knew that and you were patient enough, look what ever happened when it had 33.25. It shot right back up to 33.80. Okay. Is that incredible? Is that unbelievable? Even in Bank of America, it worked. Now, did an indicator tell you that? Did a Fibonacci tell you that that someone's trying to teach you? Did a MACD teach you that? Did an RSI teach you that? No, it's just buyers and sellers. That's all it is. Let me explain something to you, okay? For doing this for 30 years, I am 52 years old. I started when I was like 22, okay? Showing my age. I'm not really that old. I know some of you here are a lot older than me. Okay, but technically, I'm really your great grandfather in this business. Um, I blew up two accounts. Okay, and you'll read this in my book when I give it to you. At 22 years old, would you trust giving you money to a 22 year old? Like, no way, I don't trust you. And but you know what? A lot of them want to go out there and try to trade themselves. So I went. I was that ignorant 22 year old kid. I tried to do it on my own. Um, I'm first generation Italian. I didn't listen to my father. He said, "Go work for somebody. Go work for somebody." He goes, Fausto, go work for somebody. You know, you get this Italian accent. Stop playing with the money. You don't know what you're doing. Go work for the best. But I didn't want to work for the people. I wanted to work for myself, okay? And like everyone else. So I traded, I lost. I traded, I lost. Finally, you know, I'm sitting there. My father's a landscaper. I have friends, you know, I'm cutting their grass. Their parents are loaded, all right? Some of them are traders. And uh, my father embarrassed me in front of one of his customers and said, yeah, my son, he trades, but he keeps a losing. And his father was like, you know what, son? You know what? You don't want to do this for a living. You don't want to be a, a landscape. You want to make money? I'll come to my office. I'll teach you how to trade. Okay? Now, like anything else, I just want to point this out. I'm going to tell you a little story real quick, and then we'll go into the trading. But, you know, this is really how it came about. I went out there, and I trusted him because he was good to my father. He was one of his customers and I listened to him and I actually went into this office. They were actually recruiting traders, like what I'm trying to do today with you guys. And, um, but the difference is between you and what happened to me is some of you probably don't know me that well, other than what you probably read or watched. This is a person that was like your neighbor. Okay. This is like someone that was like almost like a cousin and I trusted him. And the first thing he came up to me, he showed me this platform. And it was like, I don't know, maybe like 50 people in the office at the time. And they were talking about this. And they were saying, and, and I'm like, wow, I'm like, how in the right mind would anybody do this? How many anybody would actually buy this platform, you know, would, would, would trade without having this? And everyone's like, oh, I would buy it. Like right now, think about that you've been blind. And now all of a sudden, like, oh, yeah, I could watch every institution and everything. Okay. You know how 95% of the room left? They told me, they said, this platform costs $1,000 a month. You got to pay the exchange. Now, not me, not, not like it. You have to buy, you, you want to see it on the exchange, of course, you're 1000 bucks, right? Now, granted, if I didn't know who the guy was, I probably would have left too because I didn't have $1,000 at 22 years old. And I know right here with all of you out here, you probably say, eh, it's nice, but I'm not really willing to spend 1000 Okay, well, guess what? I got news for you, Okay. I was smart enough and I said, you know what? I trust him. I'm going to do it. And that's why I'm here today talking to you. I've done very well for myself. But it doesn't cost a thousand. It doesn't cost 500. It doesn't cost, you know, 50 bucks. It costs $15. I paid a thousand 22 years ago. Would you pay $15 to see 70% of the volume in the market right now, traders? Think about it. 15 bucks. Some of you are paying hundreds of dollars on all these platforms. $15 a month, okay? Well, stick around because I'm going to tell you how you're going to get it, all right? So right now, I'm just basically hopefully catching your attention to sign to see the value of it, but I'm going to show you where to get it. So let's talk about Mara. Mara had a good push, nice little trend, right? Now, one problem, does it things keep going up forever? Well, unfortunately, right now, we got a 100,000 share seller we got to deal with that $30.30. Now, what would be your game plan? Because 
There was some good news on Mara. We've been watching it. They got the crypto. It's been going up pretty good. Bitcoin's doing well. What, did, what, what did, would you be doing? What would be your game plan right now? If you own the stock and you're coming up to a 100,000 share seller at $30.30, what would you be doing? What, what's your game plan? Tom says, I probably would sell right before 3031. Okay. Tom is the only one. That... Daniel, what about you? Alan, don't be embarrassed. Listen, I don't want to insult anybody, but listen, I don't like seeing you lose money. Okay. If you don't know the answer, just give me a question mark. Let me know that you're paying attention. Okay. Because if you think this is, you know, um, you think um, making money is hard, you know, try ignorance. Probably wait to see what happens. Probably want to sell. Okay, great. Guess what? Is that stock going up or going down? Well, guess what? It went down. It hit it. It came back down. It hit it. It came back down. It hit it. It came back down. All right. That's what trading. Oops, let me move this over really quick for you guys. Okay. Um, that's what trading is all about. All right. Now, let me show you something even a little bit different. I want to bring this up. So right there is a big seller, right? I want to show you something really quick. This is a live chart right here. You see that resistance levels? Let me zoom in. Maybe maybe you don't see it as clear. But look what happened right around $30. This, I took that photograph uh, about uh, a couple of days ago. What happened to it? What happened to it? It went from 30. It dropped all the way down to 20. 20. How many times have you been in a stock and like, oh my God, I'm at 13. I own, I'm making money. I'm making money. I'm making money. I'm making money. Where is your game plan? Do you know where the sell's in the future? Because you know what? I could slap in a moving average, an RSI, uh, uh, a Shankin, a Bolger Band, MACD. Should I keep going? Should I keep going? No. Does this help you? Does this help you help explain that that big order was out there? No. I would rather look at the 100,000 share seller than try to figure out all this, whatever the hell you want to call it. Okay, it looks like a mess to me, I'll be honest with you. All right, so let's look at a couple other ones. CL, uh, CL, CLSK, same industry, okay? Same industry, but this one went from $3 to 13 Everyone probably knows Mara. Everyone probably knows Coinbase, you know? They're all running together, but do you know that there's probably another 20 stocks out there that are moving side by side with that? Did anyone know that CLK is in the same business as Mara? And the big difference is, one would make you at risk a hell of a lot less with more reward. You know, that's what it's all about. They all move together. But you might not know that because you're not a trader. And not only that, CLSK had its big seller at, at 94,000 at 1350. You know what I mean? Like, look at all the sellers out there 2000, 2000, 1000, 94,000 shares. Think about this for a second. How much smarter and better trading decisions if you knew that you were going up to a big seller of 94,000 shares out there? I mean, think about it. That's why you're here. Now, let's look at this. Is this stock uh, going up or down? No, I guess not. I guess not. It hit it. It came back down. It hit it. It came back down. Um, let me look at it right here. So... Did this help answer that question for you? That big seller out there? Because it dropped all the way down to, I think, like eleven, nine dollars Did that help answer that question for you? How many of you here use indicators? Raise your hand. Say Just say yes or no. Yes or no. Just, just give me a chat. Aline, you do. Ravi, you do. Okay. Are you an analyst? Did you go to school learn this stuff? Okay. You know what the problem with indicators? They're laggers. Okay, listen, they do work for swing trading, they work for long term trading, but as an active day trader, we do not use them because they're laggers. And I'm not a lagger, I want to be a leader. I want to know where the leaders are and where those orders are, not to find out what some mathematician invented. Okay. All right. You probably, you probably, a lot of you probably falling off your chair, your chair right now, like, my God, this guy's out of his mind, or he knows what he's talking about because. Everybody talks about indicators. And you know what the problem with indicators are? They're always right. They're always right. The problem is they're late to the game. All right. So what I want to do is I want to kind of um I want to kind of like uh bring up a couple of stocks. I want to have a little fun with you. Okay. I want to have a little fun. Oh, what happened here? Screen. What the hell happened here? I'm trying to get my 
something happened with my screens here for a second. Ah. Hold on here. Alt. Hmm, that's weird. Let me X out of this. Let me open it up again. Hold on. Uh, let me get book viewer. Let me just get different layout. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right. So let me move this over here. And let's look at a couple of stocks. Okay, so I want to show you something pretty cool. All right. So we're going to look at this stock uh, we got right here, QS. Now, QS keeps going up, 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 up. All right. Look at this trend right here. Look at QS. Big, big move. Do you notice that there are a lot more buyers on the left and a lot a lot less sellers on the right? Okay. How do stocks go up? Buyers and sellers. Okay. Now, I want to show you something even better than that. I took a couple of screenshots of QS. And where's one right here? All right. I took this this morning. Okay. You can see here at 930. Oh, why did I do that? Something's wrong here. Okay. Right there. You guys see that right there? Look at right here at 680. 208,000 shares. Everybody see that? Right there? Everybody see that? That's at this morning at 680, at 6 o'clock this morning. Where's the stock today? Where's it right now? That right now on top was at 930 in the morning. Right? Let me just show you something. I took a bunch of screenshots. That was one. Where's number two? Here's number two. Here's another one. He's still out there. Stock is at 734, 743. Listen, you see where the stock is right now, right? Uh, where, let me get another one. Oh, that's QS. Number three, 664. All right. The buyer is still out there for 200,000 shares. All right. Uh, number four, that's number four. We did that one. 780. Uh, do I go number, do I have a number five here? Yeah, I got a number five here. Okay, 780. Buyers still out there for 200,000 shares, all right? Look at the price of the stock right now where it's at. It's at 920. That's this morning. That's this morning. So Linda's saying, oh, my God. And, and Linda, you were there, right? You saw it. You were in the trading room, right? Now, I'm going to show you something even better, all right? Um, there was another one that we traded was this OMG. O-M-G-A, Omega, all right? And Omega, you could see here, let me bring up Omega. Uh, do I have one here? Omega one, yeah, right here. So Omega here was $5.36, and, and, and right? I want you to see something here. God, I don't know why it keeps doing that. Sorry about that. I suppose I have green. But you can see on the right-hand side, see the sellers? There's a 243,000 share seller out there. Does everybody see that? Now, we're looking at a big seller. Big, big seller. Now, the first thing you think is like, but wait, Faust, the stock went up. Well, that's what I'm going to teach you right now. That's the next thing I'm going to teach you, okay? Because you would think with a big seller, the stock will go down, but it didn't go down. It went up. Okay, now let me uh, let me X out of this. Let me go back to my PowerPoint. All right, uh, let me hold on before I go to that. Let me show you this. Now, have any of you ever heard of level four before? Ever heard of level four? Because I just showed you level three. I didn't show you level four. All right, hold on. I'll do something really quick here. Uh, no, shoot, look at all, look at all the no, I'm, a lot of you don't even know what level four is. I'm showing you level three, okay? So that stock, um, I want to show you something really quick. This is pretty cool, all right? So right here, I'm going to show you on a, on a chart. Look at this. This big line right there that you see right there, if I move this over, there's that big order for 200,000. 254,000 shares. 
what happened here is that seller got executed. Somebody actually bought it. And you see all the time in sales. And that stock literally went from 580 up to 620. Okay, then it obviously met another big seller. So not only that, but imagine you were able to see this on an actual chart, you know, on a heat map. Well, I'm going to save that for all of you who are going to come join my trading room because I obviously can't go over, over, over again. So imagine be able, yes, it's, a, it's, it's, it's book map, uh, which we call level four. Now, uh, hold on, let me bring something up really quick. All right, so before I do that, um, you probably want to know where to get book video from. Okay, so listen, I want to put my email address, Fausto P at ctucorp.com. So I want everyone right now to take down my email address. And if you want to know how to get book viewer for $15, email me. I am not going to send you to the website because first of all, you'll never find it and you'll get the wrong layout and you'll pay, you're going to pay more money than what you need to. Plus, I want to give you a video with it so you can watch it. So if anyone here wants to pay $15 directly from NASDAQ to have a seat on the exchange, here's your chance, okay? Take down my email address, email me right now, and I'll tell you where to get it. And I'll I'll give you, I'll drop you a, a video how to set it up and how to use it. Because a lot of you buy platforms like, oh, this great thing. And then all of a sudden, you don't know how to use it. You're like, oh, okay, well, I don't know what I'm looking at. You know what I mean? So let's take the time to do that. And if, by the way, if you have any questions you want to ask me really quick, something like stupid, whatever it is, don't, there's no stupid questions when you do it money, just, uh, just send it to me. So I'll give you that. Everybody got that? All right, good. Looks like everyone's writing away. All right, but wow, my God, what am I getting emails? I just got a bunch of you just calling me right now. Debbie, I got yours. Matt, Gaza, got yours. Look, good. All right. Now, uh, let me get back to always showing you level four. All right, let me show you an example, another example. What you're going to see is real time, you know, um, trading. And this is basically my trading room right here. And I'll go into detail and we'll show it. I'll give you a couple of examples. But, you know, here's our actual trading room. Um, these are all my instructors on the left hand side. Uh, these are all our traders. You're going to see us trading livestock right now. They're looking at they're looking at QS still. But there's really nothing much going on in the market. I mean, the stock obviously has been doing pretty well. But I want to invite all of you into that trading room because I want you to judge us not on our winners. I want you to judge us on our losers, okay, and see how we control them, how we get out of them, how we find them. But I'm going to show you how to use level three and level four. And I want you to just give me just a just, just kind of see what's going on because what I'm looking for is I'm looking for serious traders that we could train, that you could be part of my team so we could work together, we could trade together, okay? But you probably don't know that yet unless – you know, you join it. Listen, everybody wants us to have be, you hear so many things that people want to be an entrepreneur. Everybody wants to run their own business. Everybody wants to like be their own boss, but you can't have, be good, be a good boss. If you don't even know how to work for somebody and, or even just have a good team around you, you can't do everything yourself. You think a guy owns a restaurant, it's a great restaurant because he's the waiter. He's the, he's the bus boy. He's the cook. He's the manager. He's the accountant. He's the cashier. He's the bartender. No, you got to have a good team. So what I want to do is I want to invite all of you to come see what we do and how we trade and how we find these stocks but see it live in the market. Now, this is why Cybertrain University, which you probably won't see this on any webinar you attended, of, of being endorsed by more brokerage firms than anyone in the industry. These brokerage firms, listen, you could do all the background checks you want. Believe me. You think you're going to want to have Fausto on their show or their staff think it would teach me how to lose money? Okay. That's why I've been around for 30 years. This is why also Cybertrain University has literally a five-star rating on Google. You might not, you'll never even see that. Some people don't even have Google ratings. They take it down. For someone to do this for 30 years, have to be endorsed by that many people and have that kind of rating, there's a reason for it because I'll tell you the reason. When we train our traders. We interview every single one of you to make sure that this is the right thing for you. Listen, I am not, think of me as being a doctor. I'm not going to do surgery on you just to make money. There are doctors out there that would do it. And there's a lot of schools out there that would do it. But you know what? We got to make sure that this is what you want to do, that you're set up for it, that you got the mindset for it, that you're prepared for it. So, um, but our credibility speaks for itself. Now, this is what I'm looking to do. Has everybody got their phone? Everybody got their phone? 
right there on the right hand side. We will put the link there for you. Okay. You can click on that link or you can take your phone, turn on your camera and you can scan that QR code. And all I'm asking for is a $9 trial to get in my trading room. Now, Forget about the $15 and everything else, $9. I Now, the first thing people ask me, why is it so cheap? Listen, I don't need your $9, okay? I tell everyone, you see that, you see that thing behind me, that, that, that red jersey? I don't know if anybody follows Formula One. That's Michael uh, my, um, Michael Schumacher signed it. It's one of, and, and there's a champagne glass he drank out of. Uh, the thing's probably worth you know, several well, tens of thousands of dollars. I don't need your $9. What I need is people that... You're working part-time that want to join the trading room so we could trade together. We teach you how to trade, but I don't know who you are and where you came from. Um, and that's it. Basically, this is a, an application fee to tell us a little about you, to let you, let us know if you're a real person or not. Now, let me tell you what you can get for $9. Okay. Cause you're going to get a lot of cool stuff. You're going to get daily morning and, and afternoon commentaries. You're going to get full access to all our instructors and our traders and everything else. Um, you're going to get Q and A's. We're going to do, we do live, we have live, uh, other gurus in the industry that will come on. We have a traders talk library. You're going to get all this stuff all for $9. People tell me they learn more in this class than they spend thousands working for somebody else. Okay. You're going to get hundreds of hours of workshop. I don't care. I'm giving it to you for free. I, I'm looking for people that want to be part of a family, you know, for, for the long term. That's what I'm looking for, but you don't know until you actually do it. And also, I'm going to give you my book. I told you. It's going to come with it. You can go, uh, you know, I make good money on Amazon. You know, I sell hundreds of them, if not thousands, but I'll give it to you for free. I don't need the $47. I'm looking for people that want to make the thousands, all right? Plus, here's a whole list of just the things that we do all day. We start at 7.30 in the morning to, to 4 o'clock in the afternoon. You don't got to be there in the morning. You don't got to be, if you're going to be in the middle of the day, be there in the middle of the day. You can only be there in the afternoon. You be there in the afternoon. This is what it is. It's like an it's like a it's like a, a buffet. There's trading going on all day. So no matter what day you're there, you know, there's always something to get. Now, regarding about taking some questions, now as you guys are registering, and I, I can't wait to kind of I see all of you registering right now, but let me let me take a couple of questions and let me kind of answer some of them, which are very popular ones that I get. First question people ask me is how much money do I need to get started? Okay, great question. Nine dollars. That's it. Nine stinking stupid dollars. That's all you need. Don't, but I don't have a brokerage account. Listen, forget it. You don't need to worry about that right now. If you can't afford $9, you can't afford to trade. Okay? Period. Second, do I need a brokerage account to start? I told you this before. You don't need, we don't want you to trade. We don't want you to buy anything. We don't want you to do anything. We just want you to watch and see how the traders, you know, how we do get in the morning, how we think together, how we find these iceberg orders, all that good stuff. Um, where do I get level three and level four? Will I need it for your class? No. But if you sent me an email, you know, if you want to get level three, it's 15 bucks. Big deal. You know, you're buying from the exchange. You could cancel whenever you want. Don't worry about that. Okay. But it'll be nice if you had it. Kind of help you follow along. Why not? I, I don't think anyone here... Wouldn't be in here if you can't afford fifteen dollars, more or less than nine. Um, do you um does your room also trade options? Yes, we do trade options, but the thing is, not a lot of you should be trading options, okay? Um, because you can't be a good options trader if you don't even know how to trade the stock. The stock is black and white. Once you understand how to trade the stock, you might not have to trade the option. There's just so many ways of trading options, so many styles, and that's okay. That's good, but you know what? When you come in the trading room, I would say 70% of the traders all came from options. They're like, wow, this is so much easier. And they're still trading options, but they, if they knew how to trade the stock, they're like, wow, I don't need to rent. I could just buy the, I could buy the home. And I didn't know I could buy. I always thought you had to rent all the time. I didn't know there was good deals. How many of you here were, were renting and like, damn it, why didn't I buy the house? I had the money. But they told me, oh, it's rent, rent, rent. You could move here. You could move there. You could move everywhere. And then you could you realize you're like, my God, I could have bought that house for 150,000. It's worth a half a million. And I rented it like a moron. You know, that you know, like these are things that you're gonna learn as being a trader, and that's okay. But this is all the good stuff that you're gonna get with it. Okay. 
You're going to get the trading room for a week. You're going to get the workshops. You're going to traders talk library. And I'm going to throw one last bonus in there for you. Whoever registers, whoever registers, I will give you a free coaching class. So anyone that registers right now, think about this. Have you ever spoken to the owner? Okay. Have you ever spoken to the mentor, the founder of it? Imagine being able to talk to, you know, Elon Musk. Okay. Well, I'm kind of like, I don't want to say this, but I'm kind of Elon Musk in the day trading industry. And, but the difference is I can't talk to all of you, but I'm talking, to, I want to talk to the serious ones that want to do this business, but it's all going to start with you making an investment because we want you to see what we do in the room and see what's going on and see if this is for you or not, because I know you don't want to waste my time and I want to waste yours, but it all starts. Listen, we have over a hundred people in here. I know a lot of you are not going to, uh, you know, most of you are going to register. Some of you are not, maybe you figure it's not for you, but I, I can't teach how to trade in, in, in 40 minutes. All right. A uh, couple of questions. First 20 on Yes, we got that up and running. All right. A couple of people, um, uh, that just registered. Eric, by the way, Eric um, Shermer, I got your registration regarding about you want the level three, right? And then Gus Owen, I just, I'm reading right now. You wanted the book viewer. These are all the people registering right now. Julia, son, I got your registration. Okay. Um, Solomon, got your registration. Good, good. I got everyone there. Uh, now regarding about the, who's registering right now. Um, who do I got right here? Uh, we got... Uh, Chris C, I got your registration. Welcome aboard. Okay, it looks like you're the first one to register. Didn't waste any time. Um, Elaine from Houston. Elaine T from Houston got your registration. Good. Welcome aboard. Matt got your registration. Welcome aboard. And that was that. Matt uh, Panko got your registration. Now listen, it's very important that when you guys register, um, there's two other things that you need to do. First of all. You're going to book an appointment to talk to an education advisor because they're going to walk you through the, tr the the room and they want to show you where the videos are. And he's going to book your appointment, you know, um, for, for to do your, to speaking with me, if, if it's for you or not, uh, and so on. But we're not looking to sell anybody anything. OK, all we want you to do is see how we buy these stocks, wh where we found them, where are those big iceberg orders, all that good stuff. OK, all those things are going to be out there. And then you'll see it that you've been making it more complicated what it is. Now, first of all, it's not a, this is not a full-time job. It's a part-time job. It's, it's actually quite easy to teach people how to trade. You know, the hardest thing to teach people how to trade is more of the greed and the discipline. You know, that comes with experience. But like 80% of our time, we, spoke, we spend more time learning how to stop losing it than making it. Okay. Uh, please let me know when I uh, uh, love when, when I get it. Elaine, like I said, if you if you send me the email, Elaine, um, just uh, just email me and we'll send you where to get the book viewer. I'll see you in the trading room regardless, but I see that you did register. Uh, a couple other people here. Now, another thing too, we're going to do, a, we, ha we have a questionnaire we're going to ask you. Please tell us who trained you, okay? You know, um, what kind of trading you're doing? Do you, do you have a brokerage account? How much money are you trading with? Because we want to make sure that, you know, like a doctor, you know, we're not going to, you're not going to go see a doctor without doing your blood work. Okay. He's got to make sure you got, what's wrong with you. If something's serious, we only ask about five questions, two things that you have to do in there. Just, you know, book your appointment time. If you don't know what time you want to book it, just book anything. And then you could always change it later if it doesn't work for you. And then just a questionnaire. And listen, if one person asked me, when can I, can I start? You know, I'm going away. That's great. Going away. We just had, just, you just said, you know, Christmas, Christmas and, and New Year's. You can start whenever you want. Just lock in the rate now, and then you can always do it later. Okay, just tell your education advisor you want to start in this date. Okay, but it's fresh in your mind. Definitely do it. Um, so log in now. Ravi, I see you've been asking me a lot. I see you registered. Where are you from? Um, Massachusetts. Got your registration. Who else we got here? Um, Gothard O, got your registration from Florida. Welcome aboard. Uh, who else we got here that just registered? Can he, uh, Kenisa, is that, I hope I didn't mangle it, from Texas. Got your registration. Welcome aboard. We got Thomas um, Thomas O from New Jersey. All right. She, she's still, still coming in. More than welcome. Yeah, I saw you register right now. Your name is coming up as, um, as, as seven number two. That's what I'm saying. Like, I don't know who you are. That's why we ask people. This just kind of tells us at least we know who you are. And by the way, I'm going to do another favor. 
I'm going to do another bonus. You don't like, I'll give you $9 back. I don't need your $9. I'll give you $9 back. If you feel you want a refund, I'll give it back. Trust me. Okay. I'm just looking for serious traders. Uh, any other questions, everyone? But they're, they're, they're great. Listen, I'm so happy you guys came here. And you know what? It's a brand new year. You want to start fresh. You know, you want to start something different. We're going into election year. Okay. You got big news that's coming out with Bitcoin coming up next week. A lot of those stocks are moving. You, you can see what's happening with a lot of these drug companies. We've got a war that's going on, two wars. We might even have a third. War stocks are doing pretty well. Are they going to continue? Are they going to crash? These are things you're going to know because all I care about and what we care about, we're traders. Okay. We don't want to take things politically. We don't take things personally because if you are, that's what we're going to teach you because then trading is not for you because then you'll get yourself in trouble. But there's a lot of people made a lot of money in COVID and there's a lot of people lost it all and shouldn't have made in the first place. You got lucky. And now you probably realize you got a little taste of it. You're like, wow, you know what? I really like this. Wish I could have held on to it. Well, listen, it's $9. It's about 10 cents an hour. That's how cheap we're working. Just want to know if you're a real trade. All right, guys, listen, I got to go. Any last minute questions? I want to get ready for the trading room. I got I to jump in there. I want to get ready for the afternoon. Any last minute questions? How, how long should I realistically set aside for training and training during the day is best times? So, Chris, the first hour of the open and the last hour of the close um, you could be there all day. We do live commentary. When you talk to education advisors, I'll tell you that. Um, you know, if you can only be there one day a week, listen, you only got to be there for one hour. When you see what happens within that first hour, you're going to fall off your chair. You know, I don't know if you're in a trading room or that's the reason why we ask you these questions. When you see what we do, which by the way, we were, we were the first ones that started the trading room. We were one of the first ones. I was actually the first ones doing webinars for crying out loud. We have everything down to a science, our back end, our portal page. The way we educate you, the way we train you, have access to the classes, you're going to see it. We spend millions of dollars and thousands and thousands of hours designing it. We really have it down to down to a pack. And then hopefully we could teach you, you could teach your friends and your family. Because let me tell you, you could, when we show you how to trade, you can be able to, you're going to, you know, the goal is not to hold you hostage. We're going to teach you to teach other people. There's a lot of schools out there that are students of ours. There's a lot of Facebook groups that are our, our instructors and our students, you know, we're very happy for it. You know, we look at us as being a, as a college, you know, we don't hold you. Eventually you're going to teach other people. We want you to succeed. Okay. Um, yes. Book viewer is $15 a month, Lewis. So yeah, just email me. I'll tell you where to get it. All right. But just make sure you registered for the room first. All right, guys, I got to go. Uh, but listen, it's been recorded. Please make sure you subscribe to the channel. You give a thumbs up and you ring the bell. OK, so you get an alert whenever we come back on again. All right. But um, and then for some of you that didn't register, listen, hopefully we will we'll be able to maybe we'll get you next time, whatever it is. But don't don't be ignorant because you think education is expensive. Try ignorance. And for everybody else, thank you for being here. I look forward to seeing the trade room and let's show you how to do it the right way for 2024. Thanks for coming. Happy New Year, everyone. I'll see you in a little bit. And uh, let's try to make some money this year. OK.